Most of us have given up. Any hopes of a diet right now? I ate two pieces of pound cake yesterday. <laughs> no, no, eating wise. All right, but you know, it's a real issue, binge eating. An estimated 2.8 million Americans actually struggle with binge eating. It's a disorder and people with it often eat large amounts of food in a short period of time. It makes them feel guilty and then they're not really able to stop. So now researchers want to know more about the role of the body's sleep-wake cycle known as the circadian clock. Food fuels our body and gives us energy. But for thousands of Americans, eating is an unhealthy obsession. Binge eating disorder is the most prevalent eating disorder. And unfortunately, there's uh, still very limited options or uh, targeted options. Researcher Francisco Roma Nava and his colleagues are working to learn how an individual's body clock plays a part. Among the population, it's estimated that between 10 and 15% of the population will be morning type, clearly morning types. Then most of the population will be intermediate types, between 70, 75%. And only about 5% of the population is a true evening uh, type. Dr. Romo Nava says a master circadian clock in the brain feeds information to cells in the body, triggering needs and responses, like getting tired and hungry. He says past research suggests night owls might be more susceptible to binge eating behavior. Binge eating behavior tends to occur uh, on, the, on the second part of the, of the day into the evening and night. The researchers want to know if readjusting the circadian rhythms of people with binge eating disorder could be an effective part of treatment. The University of Cincinnati researchers are leading a clinical trial with 40 people and doctors say they want to determine if that circadian clock does play a significant role in binging behavior. And if so, could maybe some treatment options like even melatonin or light therapy readjust a patient's body clock?